Hi guys, Miss Heather here. We are back with week four of Finding Jesus Under the Sea. I know it's weird today you can't see me, and that's because I am having trouble with my green screen in my video. So I'm just going to be doing my voice today. Anyway, I love you guys. Happy Mother's Day today. If you have not told your mother Mother's Day yet, Happy Mother's Day, you need to run and do that right now. Pause this video and go tell her Happy Mother's Day. Your mom's awesome. She does lots of things for you. Um, so let's get started with our memory verse. I hope you guys have it memorized by now. Neither height, nor depth, nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. Okay, I hope that you memorize that and you are ready to um, say it when we get back into church together again. Okay, so today we are going to be talk, doing a special edition of Jesus Under the Sea. We're going to be talking about um, a very special Under the Sea mom. There were lots of choices. There are lots of great mom examples under the sea, um, except for the seahorse. The seahorse, it's the dad that actually um, carries the babies and gives birth to the babies. Is that crazy? So, yeah, I didn't use the seahorse moms. But... I found out that the sea turtle moms are one of the hardest working moms out there. And I bet your mom's a hard working mom too. So I thought we'd talk about the sea turtle moms. Before we talk about that, I have a joke for you. What do sea turtles like to post most on Instagram? What do sea turtles post on Instagram? Shelfies. What? It's funny. You don't think it's funny? Okay, they're one of the hardest workers because, number one, they have to travel back to the place where they were born to lay their eggs. So no matter where they were born, if they move away, so think about your mom, if she was born in California and then she moves to Indiana, well, before she has you, she has to move all the way back to California, right? But sea turtles have to swim, and they have to swim. They can't just take an airplane. Some of them have to swim swim thousands and thousands of miles to get back to the place where they are supposed to lay their eggs. And God just put that in them, this, this internal homing device. They know where they were born, and they go back there when they're grown to lay their eggs. It's super cool. So they go back to the beach. Then when they get to the beach, okay, you think, though, that's not a bit, you know, they they swam 8,000 miles. But now they're back to the beach. Now they actually have to climb into the sand. Now I don't know if you know anything about sea turtles, but sea turtles spend 99% of their lives in the sea. They don't come out of the sea. They live in the water. They're fast in the water. But when they get onto the land, they have trouble. They have a really hard time walking on land. It's kind of even sad to watch it. They have a really hard time climbing. And sometimes they have to, to go pretty far up onto the beach because they have to get past the um, tide where the tide comes in because they don't want their eggs to be washed into the sea. So they have to climb up there. They have to do it at night in the dark. Then once they get up there, they have to dig a pit. This pit is not a shallow pit. It's like three feet deep. They have to dig a three foot deep pit right and then they have to lay like a hundred eggs in it like a hundred eggs it like takes them a really really long time it takes them like up to two hours to do this right then they lay the eggs in there then she's got to cover them up she's got to cover up the eggs she covers them and covers them. then she's got to fill the hole all the way back in then not only does she fill the hole back in then she has to walk around it's really hard for her to walk and disguise where she dug the hole so, like, you know, she wants to make sure that nobody can find the hole and dig up her eggs, right? Because she wants to protect those babies. And um, then she has to, after she's so tired, after doing all that work all night, she has to try to make it back to the ocean so she can rest for a minute, right? Is that crazy? So when I think about hardworking moms, um, we know we're supposed to honor our mother and our father, right? That's in the Bible. Also, we need to remember um, to give thanks for our moms, right? 
not only obeying them, but thanking them for what they do, right? So make sure you do that today. And um, there's a story in the Bible, one of my favorite stories, um, is when Jesus was a boy and his mom lost him. I know. Can you imagine? You're, if your mom's ever lost you, she could tell you how it feels. I've lost both of my kids at one time in my life, and I panicked. Well, Mary, the mother of Jesus, lost him. Can you imagine? She lost the Savior of the world. I mean, you had to have been really panicked at that point. If I was her, I would have been. And um, she actually lost him for three days. Three days. Can you imagine? So she lost Jesus for three days. Now, I don't want to spoiler alert. She found him. You probably knew that. But anyway, you guys watch the story. It's, um, I think it's called Jesus as a Boy. But anyway, it's, it's posted on here with my video. So I love you guys. You have a great time. I know that we're announcing soon our plans to open back up, and so looking forward to seeing you again.